probably the most difficult horror experience I've ever played. Stalker Gamma continues to derail my sleeping schedule to waking up at noon because even on my third big playthrough, I'm still finding new strategies, new locations, new ways to play, progress, survive. Today's adventure is a continuation of our last episode where we went from a brand new stalker in the zone with an MP5 and respirator to someone who could easily defend themselves in a firefight. We travel further into the story of becoming a legendary stalker, sourcing gear and weapons that will make us able to take on some of the most difficult locations in the zone and entering the darkest of underground laboratories to fight massive hordes of well-equipped monolith stalkers and monsters. Each dungeon in today's episode requires hours of preparation for me to get the right amount of ammunition, armor, radiation resistance, but preparation is victory's best bud. Holy, luckily he reacted. Oh, grenade. You guys know why spazzes toggle into semi or or pump action? It's uh it's for loading like less lethal or like shooting doors rounds uh, because those are low pressure and wouldn't cycle the gas system. So you can toggle on the pump action uh, for yeah lower pressure rounds. And uh, spazzes are weren't even that popular, weren't even that expensive until a lot of movies picked them up in the early 2000s and 90s, and then they started to really gain. Popularity. We had a spaz, like Matt had a spaz when we were, when I was probably like 12, I shot a spaz. And uh, at the time, that spaz was maybe a thousand dollars, and now they're like, I would guess five. Do you guys hear about the new, uh, the, the, the TV mode on your PDAs now? You can like switch to different videos and stuff on within your PDA. Look, I can click here and then I can click to TV and boom, I'm on like different TV channels. And uh, they even have like, they even have like commercials and sponsors and stuff. It's kind of cool. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. From tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium, and heavy tanks, utilize your armored beast in a strategic battle for victory. I got him. I killed him. You got him. Yeah, you must have. Nice. Choose from over 800 tanks, use frontal assaults or sneaky beaky flanks in over 40 different arenas with forests, deserts, urban and industrial battlefields. And the best part, it's entirely free to play on PC, PlayStation 5 and 4, Xbox One, Series S and X. And it's cross-play, so if your buddy is the PC elitist of the group, you can still join him on Xbox and show him who's really the better tanker. The game runs well on any PC, and the graphics are easily some of the creme de la crop crispiest tanks and environments you can get in a PvP armored warfare game. Click the link in the description below to start your new account on World Tanks using my invite code to permanently unlock a tier 6 British Cromwell B, 250k credits, and 7 days premium access. And you get to unlock 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each so that you can try out some more of that high tier tank combat with the Tiger 131, the massive T-78, and the Chinese Type 64. So click the link down below to join the over 100 million players who have fought across the fields of war in their Panzers and Patons. And a very big thank you for World of Tanks sponsoring this video. Okay, the thank you was just a little too cheesy. Come on, they gotta get better with those. Um, oh, also we bought Nods and Yentar. These were 18k I think in Yentar, so not bad. We bought those, that's why we're poor right now, but at least we can now operate at night. Uh, will you ever revisit Airsoft? Yes, um, probably won't go to like many American Milsims, but I have a lot of friends who are cadre at Milsim West, and uh, I would love to, once I move into my new place, I'd love to refresh my airsoft gear setup, grab some new builds, build some airsoft guns, and uh, go out and, and fight with some, some good kit. Because uh, I'm definitely a lot more knowledgeable and capable with like night vision stuff now. And my whole camping setup is so much better now. Like, it's actually pretty cool how Milsom West can give you a baseline for what you need to go camping comfortably. But now I can, like, I have a whole rucksack effectively that's got cold weather gear, wet weather gear, sleeping system, all that. I'm, I feel a lot more prepared if I were to go to, like, a cold, rainy Milsom West, you know? Because a lot of people quit Milsom West if it's raining and cold. Because it's, like, it's not fun. But, uh,. Done a lot of camping out in the wet and cold last two years, so I think I'll be okay. I think I'm used to it now. 
what's basically happening right now, Chad, is that I've been waiting two days for this Psy helmet so that we can run into this big base and take it out, but that big base is very difficult. Um, so I need to grind money so that I can buy or craft 7.62 ammo for my AK uh, and get more shotgun shells and possibly, hopefully, get a new helmet too. Um, I think Cordon would be a good place to go because if we get there, we can kill the military guys in Cordon and maybe they'll have some good helmets on them. Actually, let me think about it. I think I do have a helmet, but it's a heavy helmet and I need like a medium one, probably. Yeah, I have this one, but this is a pretty high-end setup. Like, if we can get that working, that'd be great. Plus 14 psychic res, but it's also heavy. So I want to repair this sphere helmet. Because the only other helmet I have is this exo helmet, and that requires exosuit parts. There's no way I'm going to be able to craft that right now. But I could fix up this sphere helmet. This is a heavy armor, so it requires a heavy kit. The thing is, you can craft heavy kits in two ways. I can't buy them from him. He doesn't sell them. I don't think at any level he'll sell them. At the crafting menu, though, I can go and do repair toolkits. There's two different ones. You might wonder why there's two. Uh, because there's three different levels of toolkits in the game. Right now, I've got the basic and the... Uh, what is this? Advanced toolkit? Uh, yeah, so I've got the advanced toolkit. Uh, but the problem is, is that there is one craft here that's relatively cheap like pretty easy to do but it requires expert tools there is a craft though that can work with advanced tools but it requires considerably more stuff as long as I get 16 uses of medium armor repair kits 8 uses of heavy sewing kit field armor and glue tube then we can get a heavy armor repair kit and fix up that helmet and basically I'm gonna try to craft my way through all of these things so that I can make this as Cheap as possible, because I don't think it's going to be cheap. All right, so we're going to go down south. Mosin-Nagant, Spaz-12. Kind of a weird kit, but Mosin's going to be able to take care of Stalkers. I hate that scope being on the right side. It's cursed. Uh, and then Spaz-12 will be able to take care of uh, mutants. So the interesting thing about Stalker Gamma is that it's a mod pack uh, <laughs> that, that is customizable for a game that is entirely overhauled from three other games. So there is hundreds and thousands of lines of old outdated code within different mods and if your mods don't update correctly, you can have errors. I walked up to a trader in the middle of my stream and immediately crashed my game. No, my game crashed again, crap! No! It's the dumb... Ugh. Damn it, dude. What is this? What did you do? Unfortunately, this was a problem I had been having a few days earlier with my game, and I thought that I had fixed it in time for the stream, but I didn't. But luckily, there was a man in chat suggesting that I do a certain fix. I had asked him for help on the Stalker Gamma Discord, and he happened to be in the chat at the time of my live stream, and he had very unique instructions of exactly what to do to possibly fix this problem. Stalker Nami's weird. I love how 580 people are watching me troubleshoot Stalker Anomaly. <laughs> File, Trader, Auto Inject, copy what's inside of it. Go dare. Boom, bam, bop. Bam. Uh, I don't know. It, it, somebody gift this man a sub if it works. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby! Veer! Everybody in chat, at Veer and say thank you. Everybody in chat. Man, just change this stream. Forever. And I gotta go down there and kill those bandits. The one that I don't kill has the SVD. I gotta remember that. So I don't kill an SVD guy. I got 60 rounds in the Mosin. These are just gonna be bandits, so these should be... I'm guessing bandits should be one shot to the chest. There's one, but I can't tell what weapon he has in his hand. Oh wait, no, he's holding it up. It's a long gun. I think that's a double barrel shotgun. I, you know what? That stock looks like an SVD. That's got a mag in it too. That's not a double barrel. I think that's our guy. But where's everybody else? Okay, okay, there they go. I'll just pull them out then. Get to this cover. Is the SVD guy also gonna shoot at me until I kill the rest of them? Cause he's, cause he's a spy. Oh, jeez, I can't tell their guns at all. Someone shoot semi-automatic. Someone, someone start spraying full auto at me. 
Come on. See, that could be an SVD. I don't know who's who, dude. This is a challenging one. What do you have? That is a What? That was him? <laughs> he was coming right up to me, dude. <laughs> Damn, he's tough. Okay, so who are you? No, that's a that's a pistol. Oh wow, my game lagged right as he went left. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I can't believe I shot him. Yeah, dude, I was looking at him from super far away. Look when he's got the gun up. It just looks like a big like that's. Oh, now he's turning. But that was my POV from from a distance. I saw that hole and that hole in his stock and then I saw that magazine coming out that's all I could see it's my favorite gun platform definitely the AR or the, the M4 I'm just so comfortable with it whoa holy shit okay there's bandits right there I'm gonna go back I think they all have shotguns <laughs> I gotta admit though, the Mosin feels really good right now. I think I've got one shot left in this clip. Where are you at? Oh. I think I'm out. Yep, out. My buddy got him. Nice job, bud. Blasted him back. <laughs> Any new night vision toys? No, um, just a few months back I got my, my Jerry C. Cody, so that's the Chinese thermal overlay setup. Um, so I've been using that for hog hunting, but other than that, no, not any new, new toys. Uh, that is definitely one that will, uh, that took me a good bit to muster the bravery to spend that much on, though. It helps out a lot because I do solo hog hunts and it is pretty spooky whenever I'm trying to find something that's like behind a layer of foliage. Um, and the thermal just reassures me a lot that I'm not looking at something or I am looking at something. And I don't have to raise, like I have thermal, a little bit of thermal devices, but they're all pretty low end. But they require me to look under my nods to be able to see through them. Oh my gosh, I actually missed on that. There's a lot of zombies here. Is there anything like Sam Fisher goggles in real life where they can swap between different types of vision? Um, not really. Uh, it, right now, the highest tech that you're gonna see that's similar to that is going to uh, blend or or fuse uh, different types, different, different uh, waves of light together so right now you have like the army's thermal overlay that outlines hot things and it adds it to your regular infrared night vision goggle view um you can go look up like u.s army thermal night vision oh that's a military guy right there good night and uh you'll see videos of like them doing mortar practices at night or getting onto helicopters and it's a really cool look and those the, the thermal overlay system that is in those really compact, very high-end night vision goggles also has, um, on some experimental models, like data link systems. So you can get the Ghost Recon diamonds over your buddies because it I think it uses maybe like a mesh technology of some sort and it can locate friends and then it puts diamonds over their heads, which is so cool. But most of the time they just have like a compass or something and they also can be computed or they can like be programmed to have waypoints. But dude, the stuff like putting diamonds over friendlies heads at night is wild. That is actually Ghost Recon. And I, I, I swear if they did diamonds specifically because it was diamonds in Ghost Recon, that's so cool. <laughs> that's, that's so sick. <laughs> Oh, did you see that dodge he did? That was cool. 
They do that. That's interesting. They do that last second dodge. They all do that. I've never noticed that before. Like 10 feet out, they all just dodged one way or the other. So if you're just joining us, we're about to go raid a military base. And it's going to be pretty tough. We're trying to kill everybody there because we want to go loot them and steal all their stuff. If we can't kill everybody, we won't be able to loot at all. So I need to be able to kill everybody. I feel like 47 rounds of Mosin ammo is not enough. But he has more, and he has AP. That's expensive, holy! Yeah, we're leaving our buddy here at the base. He would probably die versus military. So we're gonna run out. See if we can snipe some military guys off of the base and uh, pull them away out into the open, hopefully. Might be too inaccurate to really hit him at this range. Yep, here they come. Okay. Oh, they're pushing left. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's ah. throwing a grenade. No, jeez. This was a mistake. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even looking. He's dead. Got one. There's one. Oh, I think a loner behind me is waking up. Get him, buddy, get him. I think I missed that. Hit that. Oh, he got up. I think I missed. Oh, jeez. Mm. He's a really good shot. He's dead. Jeez. You were tough. And you were a rookie. Ugh. All right, let's uh, go around and hold F and see if there's any spawns. I think that's everybody. We did it. I think we did it. Oh. Ooh, there's some ibuprofen, nice. Consensus, but don't know how much worth that was. It didn't spawn many armors on them, which I thought it would. Um, I thought it would spawn more. Cause there's, although this is kind of still early in the playthrough and this is in Corden. I thought their military is going to have to spawn a good amount of them. Um, seems like it didn't. Or it, it didn't spawn that much gear on them in particular. No, Alright, yeah, so definitely learned a lesson. Um, don't push that unless you have AP ammo. And be a lot more prepared than you think. <laughs> that was tough. But we got all of these pieces of gear. It's gonna be not bad. All of these pieces of gear. We got these these guns too, aka tactical. Got this thing. That'll be neat. Cause uh, 9 by 39 still goes really hard. Do I know Africans? Uh, no. Texas, you crazy. I'm a Texan boy, born and raised. On cheeseburgers and Frito chili pie. <clears throat> Frito chili pie? Fritos? Yeah, so you get like a bean chili, right? Bean and like beef or pork or something, and then you mix it with Fritos, the the, the corn chips. It's really good. And cheese, you put like sour uh, cream on it. It's like the Texas food. That's like the mo that's like, I think chili is the, 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 the food of Texas, like the official food or whatever. But like at every football game, you can get Frito chili pie, and it's so good. Selling whole pickles at a football game is apparently a Texas thing too. Yep, that is correct. We Texans were a little odd. Yeah, I feel like the only options when I was in high school was like you get Frito chili pie, nachos, or pickles. <laughs> That's it. 
That's your diet now. You don't, you know, when you leave the football game, that's all you get too. That's all we have at the stores. Breakfast, pickle. Lunch, Frito chili pie. Dinner, another pickle. You only had nachos for dinner if you were a, if you were a good boy that day. Oh. Nice. Whoa! There's another one. There's two. Oh, they're back there. Okay. I was chill, guys. I, I had that under under control the whole time. Does she make your 2 a.m. ramen for you? No, that's a, that's a me thing. That 2 a.m. ramen takes more skill than she will ever have at cooking. All right. Look, if you're trying to get the ramen perfectly like al dente, that takes a man's touch, you know? Okay, it's just dogs. Whew. Just two dogs. Okay. I thought we were about to die. Man, he had a big old tracking device on him. Just fell right off the bone. One of my favorite videos uh, that I've watched recently was General Sam's. I think it was like, um, it was a food review. I forgot exactly what the theme was, but one of the, I think it was just canned foods. Uh, but one of the, the meals that they ate, that they tried out was uh, Sweet Sue's Canned Chicken. And one of the favorite quotes that both my wife and I have been saying is, uh, Oh, sweet Sue, it's it's fallen off the bone. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh, sweet Sue the bone. It's coming off the bone. Oh, Just the way he says it is so funny. So every time we have, like, chicken now that's, like, really good, we go, Oh, sweet Sue, it's falling off the bone. Uh, headphone users, beware. This guy will make high-pitched noises when I kill him. Very high-pitched. So just be aware of that. Yup, there we run! run. Where? Where are you? Where? Is he up here? Ah, oh, jeez. There goes our shotgun ammo. There it goes. Goodbye. Whew. Wow, we were actually pretty side damaged too. We're only one third. So there's like whispers that you can hear if you listen closely. Have I played with Karmica before? Yeah. I'm actually playing probably some Halo Infinite with him tonight. He wanted to play some, and I was like, heck yeah, dude. Because Halo Infinite's a good time. MRE animation needs an update? No, it doesn't. It's perfect. It's beautiful. Just the way it is. Uh-oh. Does this work? I don't think so. Oh, nice. Free baked beans. Turn it down a little bit. What is an emission? Uh, it's just a big thing that happens in the zone, to put it very simply. Uh, the zone has a big sphere of influence of wacky physics that go on, and it just has to, has to, you know, think of when your body digests food, and, you know, the methane gases build up in the, the nether regions of the digestive tract. Think of the digestive system as the clouds outside, and this is just a big old fart. Just gotta let one loose every once in a while, you know? This looks weird, I'm never farting again. <laughs> yeah, someone let nature have Taco Bell. That that was the biggest mistake you could have made right there. It is pretty, though. <laughs> oh shit, what the Oh, that scared me. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what happened? What happened? So we're pretty good. We're pretty fine in nighttime now. Oh, is that... What is that? Oh, I'm hearing a lot of stuff. There's fractures. Oh, jeez. It's hard to aim. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm just going to have to use the shotgun, I think. I don't have much ammo left. Oh, no. All we have is AP slugs. I don't use AP slugs. I think they killed them? Okay, we're fine. I guess they killed them. Nice. Just got two quests to turn in here. I also need to check the stash that's on top of this building and see if I left anything in there. Uh, boom. Oh, he could be a free a free guy. Chat, do we take on a friend? This isn't like a quest. This is just like a guy that's willing to come with us for free. Do we do we do we take on a new guy? We have a buddy. Cause yeah, he's got a pretty pretty good suit on. Yeah, just look at his armor. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you're coming with me, buddy. You're coming with me. Look at this guy. What gun do you have? Oh, he's got an AUG too. Look at the absolute Chad. I'm so happy that uh we fixed that earlier issue. Oh yeah. I forgot this was up here. This is an AK seventy four M, so it's got a side mount on it. Um, that's pretty good. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Like, look at this thing. I can't inspect because my inspect, uh, um, mod is disabled right now, but. Yeah, I think this is going to be the next gun because it's got a laser. It's got a suppressor already. It's 545, five, right? AK, yeah, it's 545-74. Um, and it will take optics. And our current AKM will not take optics. If we get a PSO scope, um, this thing will become legendary. So let's get home to Rosdok and maybe set this thing up when we get there. I just need to get this home to Rosdok, so we're going to take it with us. You got Sherlock and the gang stuck in the walls of the CMPP? <laughs> Dude, that CMPP fight stinks. Dude, even in the main game, man, the end of the end of SOC Shadow of Chernobyl, uh, it, 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 it's like, hey, you like this kind of like open worldish, you know, open big map game? That's pretty cool because it's got like a big area to explore. Now let's throw you in these hallways with this repeating voice over and over and over again. It is... Oh gosh, I don't want to take that shot. It's a very annoying ending to the game. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. What's he shooting at? You, sh you just like shooting that? Alright, cool. That's fine. Oh, it's inside of that? Okay. Whoa! <gasps> Let's freaking go, dude! Um, if you're joining us anytime recently, basically we've been trying to grind for money and for um, parts right now. And it's turning nighttime. And so we've got a night vision goggle and an AKM. We're going to go out into the, the zone and do some night scavenging. Take some anti-rad and let's go in. I can't see anything. I see the guy that's there, but I don't see anybody else. Shit. Shit, I see it. I see it. I see it. I saw like a glimmer. A shimmer, if you will. Come on, bud. There's rads here. Let's go. That was lucky. 
Isn't that the same region that almost radiated you to death? Yes, it is. It's just that now we have... We, we ran in with um, anti-rad meds, and we ran in with uh, this nicer SIVA suit and this gas mask. And both the gas mask and the SIVA suit are uh, giving us a total of 8 plus 24. So 32 um, rad resistance. So we're just much more prepared for that situation now. Definitely makes you play differently. Yeah. Fire area. We can also heal at the campfire. Big. Insane skills that we've learned. Thanks to chat. Uh, you gave me vodka. Thanks, bud. And uh, I don't know where we need to rescue this duty guy. Luckily, we have the He's With Me mod because he's duty and he's walking in the middle of the Freedom Base. If if, uh, if we didn't have that, everybody would be blowing him to bits. I got really scared that the guy to my left would blow him to bits. <laughs> Once we do these quests here in a uh, truck cemetery, really like to upgrade my helmet to something with more ballistic resistance and we've got we, we've been gathering a lot of this stuff specifically so that we can craft more heavy repair kits there's there's bandits we don't have a Him a few times. Uh, is that a head? No, that's like a fence post. Oh, there's a, there's a fracture in there. There's a few, I think. Oh, ecologist? Ecologist. Clear sky. It's my guy. Taking rads. Taking rads. That's a lot of stuff, though. Oh, I should have drank the red vodka. That's all right. <laughs> that place is cooking. How are they just existing in there? Like, really? Oh, that's going to override. No, I'm dumb. Thought this was truck simulator? Close enough, close enough. Space, you know, it could be. On the right day, oh. I wish something like Stallcraft existed but not super blocky like Minecraft. I was actually just playing Stallcraft uh, yesterday. I was just like seeing how it changed and stuff. They had a few updates. It's still a pretty cool game. Still fun to dip some time into. I would like to go see. I don't. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford it quite yet. I would like to go see if we can still craft those medium armor repair kits that are necessary to make the heavy armor repair kit. Because uh, my main goal with this run right now is to upgrade my helmet to a heavy armor helmet. Uh, but we're kind of just held back by we don't have expert tools, so we're gonna have to spend more to be able to craft a heavy armor helmet. Uh, where am I? I'm in the dead city on the west side of the zone. We're gonna do probably a run right now where we're gonna go into army warehouses, grab those two things, then go over to truck cemetery and kill that. Yeah, kill that thing and grab that stash. So that's the run we're about to go do. Okay, so I've actually never really crafted meds before. Like I didn't even do it much during my, um, my gamma run, but you can craft meds with a lot of stuff like it's actually really good um, how price efficient all this is if you collect kind of lower tier medicine you can make a lot of money off this stuff I'll craft myself two med kits heck yeah okay and now I don't have anything else I just have more video bar repair oh my gosh that is expensive 
But that's like half of my stuff just to repair this one piece of armor. We're gonna have to go do some more looting, my man. Let me see. We got a lot of stuff in Truck Cemetery. And yes, I'm on God Mode right now, so I can just walk around while over encumbered. But we got a lot of stuff in Truck Cemetery. We've got a stash there. We've got to go eliminate dangerous mutants. I didn't even know we had an artifact melter. Apparently, we got an artifact melter somewhere. I actually don't even remember seeing that. Maybe let's do some artifact hunting. We could soup up one of these suits. And then we'd have a considerably better suit for artifact hunting. You know what? I, I feel like we have so much stuff. I wonder if we can craft a better detector if we buy the the guidebook from him. Let me see. How much is the guidebook to uh, volume two? Which, which, which one's volume two? There it is. This is 12,000. I'm buying it. If we can get a better detector, it'll be a good time. I don't know if we need it, but I, I really want to do more artifact hunting this one, this run. Because if we can, we can make a lot more money. Cool. Okay. And now... Let me just grab all of our tech stuff, and I guarantee we're going to have enough parts to craft something. Yep, there we go. Right there, baby grizzly detector. Boom, bam, bop. Come on, can I get underneath this? Whoop, nope. Get underneath that. Okay, so it's moving around the outside. Oh, it's inside that thing. Got it. Okay. Woo. Oh, we only have one container. Oops. Well, I got it. And didn't take too much damage. Only took like 1% damage to the suit. Nice. Cool. Uh, I'm going to eat some beans in celebration to that. Is there another one here? There might be another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bouncing around. Yep. It's a whole second artifact. I'll probably be burning a little bit if I grab it. It's bouncing between this one and that one. It's right there. Oh, crap. Crap, where, 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 where? Just cash in. Okay, so that's a battery artifact. It's giving me two millisieverts of rads. Ooh, okay, just get me out of here. Yeah, I need to get my second container. I totally forgot about it. So we're getting slightly cooked by this. I'm just going to post heal with ibuprofen. Expensive medication, but it saves all of our limbs. And then now, just need to go kill whatever this mutant is. And I'm going to drink a coffee too. A lot of stats we're balancing out here. Gives us 300 seconds of fast speed as well as it takes our... Uh, oh, there's also a stash behind us we need to grab. It takes our... Uh, thirst away and our sleepiness away. Yeah, we're taking rads now. I don't have any more anti-rad. Crap, I should have brought a container, man. Okay, so we're kind of on a timer. Because we're going to be cooking. Uh, this this artifact on us is burning us. Whoa, shoot. Okay. So we're kind of on a timer now. I've got to go kill whatever this is in quick. I think I see it. Okay, it's an interesting little area of interesting little anomalies. These are rarer, but uh, I do like this little mod. When it when I first got Gamma, it surprised me because it adds a lot of new anomalies to the mix. Okay, it's up here, whatever it is. It's a pseudo giant. Wait, do I have an IED? Crap, no, I don't. Uh, there's very little way. 45 rounds of, of buck. How many grenades do we have? We have like one, probably. You know what? I've got, I've got 14 slugs. I'm going to hit it with slugs first, so I've got some range on it. And then I'm going to try to break line of sight. I just, dude, these things are so tough. I should have brought an IED. Okay, run. Still loading standard slugs, that's fine. Oop, crap. Okay, that's a ton of damage, but dude, these guys are so much tougher than you would ever imagine. It could take all 45 buckshot to kill them, I don't know. Here, buddy, here, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right there. Okay, run. 
pretty close. I don't know what the spread of this is at that range. I don't know if all the pellets are hitting. Jeez. Gosh, this dude's gonna cost all of my ammo, man. Come on. Oh, no. You gotta get as far away. Oh, there we go. I like the little jump at the end. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm very happy I crafted Buckshot back home. Not a bad run of Truck Cemetery. Like, I came unprepared. But we made a lot of money. Obviously, we don't know how much yet, but... Like, with all the mutants we've killed, we killed a pseudo-giant. It cost way too much buckshot, but we killed it. Well, uh, kill, killed one. And then we killed a lot of stuff along the way. And got two artifacts and did a mission. Didn't have to fight any stalkers. Didn't get hurt too bad. Had to use an AI-2 and some anti-rad meds, but not bad. By the way, um, I guess this is a Texas-only pro tip. But if you have an HEB because you're in Texas, they make some absolutely out of the park peanut butter filled pretzels. Chelsea got them the other day for her. I've kept them in my office the whole time. I'm not taking. I'm not. I'm not giving them back. Mm -mm. These things are awesome. Mm. Crappy thing about night vision. It's kind of simulated here. Is that everything's really blurry. <laughs> the aperture of the lens of the front tube of night vision is so wide. It's like having your pupils dilated to two inches wide. Ooh, there's some interesting anomalies out in front of us that I can barely see. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a beer. Oh, he's going behind the thing. Oh, buddy, are you set to attack? Wait, is there a... Oh, no, he's 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 floating things around. Is my guy attacking? Like... I didn't even understand what my guy was doing. Oh, he's got a force field up. My guy got him. Nice. Okay, I got a beer brain out of that. Cool, cool. This is technically a little field right here. What's my chemical resistance? 16%? What's the two? So I've got 18% chem resistance. I don't know if anything. Oh yeah, there's stuff spiking around over there. Maybe I come back with, oh. Or maybe I just run in. gonna run in just yolo absolutely yolo for it boop got an artifact easy peasy lost half my health damaged my shirt that's fine we got an artifact we got the dub don't care surprisingly it's actually quite bright out here even with the storm the moon is piercing through the clouds which is kind of a kind of an aesthetic actually looks really nice it probably looks oh, terrible on uh, on YouTube, but hopefully I render this in high enough bitrate so it looks decent. Oh, sh oh gosh, this, it's a pig, it's a pig, it's a pig, it's a pig. I don't know how much much I have. It was damaged. All right, let's go buy some buckshot. It's probably gonna be like 2K. Uh, job is done, 9,600, not bad, and a stash in the army warehouses, that's good. Army warehouses stashes are, I think, the highest in stashes we can get right now. Um, is there any work you want done? Yeah, he's gonna want me to kill something. Any other work? Okay, I wanna buy all your buckshot. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> 50 buckshot later. <laughs> and then, uh, let me start a fire and chill next to it for a little bit. Because we are lightly toasted. What the? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you stand in the fire. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh. I grabbed it. Okay. I was like shaking. I was so nervous that I was going to hit a fire thing. I was ready to jump back. That worked though. That worked just fine. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Uh, let's go check this center one too. There's there's one over here. Um, right in the middle of the helicopter graveyard. Yep, there's another one here. Well, the nods make it harder to see. Ow, I thought that was the... No! Shit. Okay, get the heck out of there. Ouch, crap. That wasn't smart. I thought that my bolt was the anomaly, or was the artifact sitting in the ground. Damn it, dude. Damage the suits. Oh, they're actually not damaged too badly. I just don't have anything to fix them right now. Oh, there's another one. Greed. Greed will overcome me. I think we're good to grab it. Yep, we're good. Woo! Grab our bolts. <laughs> Let's go. Got another one. Okay, beacon. Neat. And a sandstone. Cool. I, I got a comment on uh, one of the last videos, and it was like some, I guess, older guy who really didn't like the fact that I'm playing video games and was saying that I'm a waste of society and stuff for playing video games. And uh, he had like a profile picture and everything. I was like, oh, I wonder if he like has any, like, it's always fun to go look at those, those profiles on YouTube and see if they like follow anything or they're subscribed to anything funny. Um, the man had nothing but like guides of how to win slot machines in Las Vegas. Like he was complaining that I was playing a game. Bro, you play games every weekend at, on the slots. He's trying to master the the metas of the slot machine. Literally, I could got I, I could not imagine a more ironic commenter. Can I go outside now? Thanks. Can I tell it to come over here? Uh, you guys got the last video over a million views. In, like, a week. It hit a million views. Uh, it, it is, it's so, it's, that's so weird to me. Like, maybe these are fun to watch? I don't know. <laughs> I was, you can ask my wife. I was scared of uploading the last stalker video because I thought it was boring. I don't know. Just want to say thanks. That's, that's crazy. Uh, especially when the video is like an hour long. I always thought that I like wouldn't be able to do long videos like that. But I kind of just YOLO'd it. And you guys like it. So it's cool with me, man. I like making these long videos. I feel like they're boring. But I feel like it also gives me more time to like show not just the action. You know, like, I get, to, I get to show the little quiet parts like this. 5,000 rubles. Not bad. I keep saying not bad. I feel like I'm being a bit repetitive. I'm like, not bad. Yeah, making some money. Make some money. Not bad. Not bad. This, not bad. Stop. That, not bad. 7,000? Not bad. My cat really wants my attention. But he doesn't understand I'm busy. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I have some people that have commented like, Oh, you're progressing way too fast for a gamma run. You must be doing some, like, off-screen mining. Bro, this is the third night that I've stayed up past 2 in the morning playing Stalker Gamma. <laughs> it's like, this is a normal run, and I'm actually, I think, going at a slow place, slow pace most of the time. You know what I need? I need a rifle that I can put a scope on. I've got this AK, and this AK is absolutely gorgeous and packs a punch, but I can't mount a scope to it. It's an AKM, not an AKM in. And that in is what's missing. Is that worse than the one that was just on it? I don't even know. Okay, we're still pretty low. We gotta get like one of these parts fixed, I think. And then maintain parts. We're gonna replace the bolt. We're going to, uh... Okay, I can't maintain the barrel yet. Worn trigger, worn barrel. Definitely replace the barrel. And 
maintain the trigger system. Boom. Okay, the gun's at 84%. We can clean the rest of it up with just the other things now. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. Ye. Holy, dude. You just gotta start shooting air. I'm gonna click space on. Look, come on, chop body. I can't chop body while I'm smoking a cigarette? Come on. Multitask, man. But we're out here at. What time is it? Uh. 5.32 in the morning, so I think it's still technically nighttime. So you've got nighttime spawns. Shit. Huh? No, he's still up. Oh my gosh, dude. Woo. Body has nothing useful. Yeah, probably because it's shredded by like 1,800 pellets of buckshot, dude. Snork, what are you doing, bud? Is he... Oh. Come on. There he is. There's the little snorky boo. Okay, if I can get this right now, this is going to be huge. Another okay, so I need another basic sewing kit, which is gonna be this. Yep. Okay, medium armor repair kit. Boom. Okay, now I need one more medium armor repair kit, which is another. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. What if I just buy another? Because I have money. I have money. I can just buy it. That works. I need this to craft. Yep. Craft that. And then I need four more glue tubes. Come on, please have them. <laughs> 22k remaining. Heavy armor repair kit complete, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. Boom, we were done. 10 hours after I had ever even found the helmet, I now had been able to grind up enough rubles and equipment to craft a heavy armor repair kit to repair that helmet. Now, this was not easy. I was a tech level lower than I should have been, but that allowed me to still build the helmet just for a much heavier price. So about maybe, I would guess, at least 75K, probably 100K rubles worth of equipment just for this repair kit. A lot of quests, a lot of grinding. But now that I have this, I'm able to switch out parts in it pretty easily because I had gone to the military bases and torn up a lot of military uniforms and gear, so I had the components to easily repair this as well. And now that we have this helmet at full durability, it was time for the Miracle Machine, our first underground laboratory for this entire episode that I've been stockpiling ammo and upgrading my equipment all four. Early in the morning, I approached the Miracle Machine in Yantar, and the hardest part was getting in. There's a pseudo dog that was behind a wall that was just sending multiple psychic uh, attacks at me, and right as I got in, I think I was very damaged. Uh, Luckily, Sava Sophomore, my, my companion, was there to protect me in the first room because I wouldn't have been able to figure myself out. It was a ton of psychic damage I took right on the beginning before I had any meds in me. But luckily, the new psychic resistance of my helmet likely saved me in the first five seconds that I had contact in the uh, Miracle Machine. Once I got in though, my preparation had just totally paid off. The Spaz-12 suppressor was still just an absolute beast. It's got an eight round mag or tube in it and with the suppressor it increases the damage and Buckshot just shreds mutants like their paper. I ran into the large room, I climbed the stairs and, and switched off all three switches. shut off the machine. As I exited, a beer was in my way, and right after that, a controller.
As I exited through the showers, I entered the sewer system, where I encountered a pseudo-giant that I had already fully prepared for. I set an IED down on the ground and let him run at me. I exited the sewer and I was done. Miracle Machine was actually pretty easy. With this equipment, it was very easy. Holy doggos. 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 Dude, every time. Jeez, man, I get out of one debacle. Again, of course, it hurts only my legs. <laughs> For the 18th time, post-healing legs. All right, now is the moment that we're really turning on the mercenaries. Uh, I need mid-tier loot. I can't get that by doing what I'm doing. I'm kind of stuck here in the lower part of the zone. And I think one of the best ways I can do it is just by going and raiding the mercenary base. Um, we have actually the same exact setup we ran in our um, our Iron Man run, where I do have this spike artifact that we found in garbage, and that will enable us to have exponentially more damage uh, every single shot we hit, every consecutive shot we hit. I don't have much ammo, so we're going to see what I can do with like 41 rounds of Mosin and then 92 rounds of FMJ. Um... 35 rounds of AP 545. Not the greatest for killing mercs, but it'll do. I also have a 45 rounder in this, so we have about 150 rounds of AK ammo. Um, I'm just broke. So <laughs> we have 600 rubles. That's it. So the more the merrier in terms of uh, loot I can get off these guys. I want to just be able to grab a lot of like suits, a lot of armors, See if we can upgrade from our SIVA suit to something nicer. I don't think that's going to happen. A lot of zombies out right now. But Dead City usually has a lot of zombies. City, of course. Alright, I'm going to go for the big exosuit guy first. Hit him in the head. Wow, that's a lot of guns. My reputation has worsened. With the mercs? Uh oh Yep, I got tased a little bit. <laughs> Damn it, I missed. Alright, bring out the AK. Damn it. Yeah, this, oh, this builds up a little bit with side damage. Woo! Ooh, that was a shotgun. Oh, that was an exosuit. That's an exosuit guy. He's big. Woo. Whoa, did I hit him? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. He just ate those two. Whoa. He's got a Mosin or something bolt action, maybe L96. If he hits me with that, I'm dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a front door! Wow! <laughs> Ouch. <gasps> what? <sighs> Didn't even see him, and he had nothing on him. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Are these not hitting? Dude, are they not hitting? What's happening? Like, hold up. Did he die to the AK round? After ever, after all those Mosin rounds, he dies to the AK. Whoop, there's still two guys right there. Luckily, he reacted. Whoa, grenade! <laughs> That's the guy. Okay, I'm gonna get the Mosin out. It says legend, so he's probably their, their boss. Oh, holy bullet. Jeez. That hurt a ton. He must, I don't know where he hit us. Whatever gun he's got though. That, thing, that thing's insane. Okay, I'm gonna toss a frag right outside the door. Boop. It doesn't bounce very well. Do I have another one? Oh, that hit him, that hit him. I don't think he's dead. Okay. I think he's dead. Grenade? That sound usually means grenade. No? Okay, we're good. <laughs> Dude, this fight has been insane. That guy was an extremely good shot. I'm really curious of what weapon he has. I think the only mercs that I'm hearing now are just like the traders, and I don't think I don't know if they'll leave their their post. Oh, we had a DVL. His last name was Terminator. <laughs> There's an op on the ground. Yeah, they all had snipers, dude. Holy. Okay, let's see if I've got. Ooh. Oh, I'm always scared of that sound. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have an op at home, so I'm gonna disassemble this one. Save a little bit of weight. Actually, that might have added weight. I don't even know. I know we have a DVL at home too, so I'm gonna disassemble this as well. Uh, we don't have, I don't think we have a Mauser back home, so I'm gonna keep this Mauser. But what a solid set of weapons. This thing is just absolutely amazing. Okay, I've got 3,000 seconds that I can run with this setup. So I'm gonna run back to army warehouses. Uh, I'm gonna take this Yadrlin. Yeah, cause, uh, we're tired. I drank the coffee. I ate the, uh, the high-end food that we had cooked. And now our guy is, uh, really drugged up. But I think we'll make it home with the, with the bag. We're all out of ammo. <laughs> Wait, yeah. This is actually a, quite a pickle I put myself into. I'm broke again, but I, I'm not... Shit. Whoa, bloodsucker! Holy crap. Nope. Oh, jeez. Whoo! Yeah, like, I don't think my reputation is worsened with other factions. I think it just says reputation is worsened because it, it has worsened with one faction, which is the Mercs. But let me just double check that, like, the ecologists aren't pissed off or something. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Cool, cool. Oh, no, my game crashed. Okay, my game is fine now. Oh, wait, oh, oh that's... That's a Merc. I, I've... Just like a mag of ammo in the AK, like not even, and... Oh, okay. I think I've got like a full clip of Mosin. Shoot, how am I gonna do this? Is there... There's nobody else. I think it's just him. Okay, two shots. I don't know if that hit. Oh, oh no. Oh wait, oh I ran back I ran back into the gate into Dead City. Like oh nope, I forgot I'm empty on that. I've got like four AP rounds left or something. Stay still. Oh I got him! I got him, holy crap. 
<laughs> he has like a big exosuit too. Hopefully he dropped it. <gasps> he didn't drop the exosuit, but he dropped the helmet. Oh my gosh, that's huge. And a deagle! A deagle! Let's go! Let's go, deagle. <laughs> 357. My best bet of survival, or like method of survival, is just avoiding everything right now. We're so fat. This is a... Mm, we're being a little greedy, but these are also like, all these three weapons are weapons of easily future loadouts. Um, oh yeah, it's an ecologist. And then the helmet is easily a future helmet with that insane BR class. That thing is invulnerable. Though it doesn't have any, uh... Oh no, it does have rad protection. Dude, we have a lot of parts that might fit this Alton. Are we really gonna upgrade helmets like immediately after? <laughs> I mean, this is one of the best helmets in the game. Dude, no way. No way. No way, we got it up to 75, let's go! <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh, that is a huge jump. Bye. That is huge. That is massive. L96 is our next... Oh, look at the iron sight up in the front, the big ol' iron sight. Look at this. Whew. I want to get this thing running for sure. This is going to be our stalker killer. <laughs> uh, this stuff excites me, man. It's like so, it's just so, it's little tiny steps. And along the way, you'll eventually get to the point where you can, uh, you can really start crafting stuff and making stuff happen. All right, it's morning time in the zone. We're back on our AKM. And then secondarily, <laughs> we've got a L96. This is a, a lot different of a rifle than we were running just a little bit ago. This thing, this thing does zoom considerably more than the Mosin PU scope. I shouldn't have any problems uh, taking any of that loot. It's going to be like taking, taking a toy from a baby. It's going to be that easy. Loners? Okay, so this must be the bandits here. That's that's duty. Why is loners fighting? Oh! You're not dead? He's not dead? That was my guy. We good now? We good? Who are you guys fighting? They're still fighting. Oh, there's another bandit. Woo! Oh, he doesn't feel so good. I think... I'll, I'll get you, bud. I'll get you. Don't worry, bud. Oh, he said thanks. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. He just need a little bit of help. You know what? Duty ears, they're kind of alright. Look, their whole cause is a little cringe, but... They're alright, you know? Yeah, we gotta make money before we go farther north. Uh because I'm pretty sure to fight people like Monolith, I'm going to very much need a better armor system for my body. My helmet is well above necessary to fight Monolith. It's just my my chest, my SIVA suit's not. We need to find some sort of military suit that I haven't torn up yet. Uh, I should have, now that I'm thinking about it, save that IOTV uh, because the f the next fight is the brain scorcher and that one is extremely tough on every piece of equipment I will have so I'm gonna try so, a lot of dogs uh, attacking the military in a small base in this valley and I'm gonna see if I can get an armor piece off of them if I can't... He's still shooting at the... You guys? 
must be something past there. If I can't, then I might go to radar where the Brain Scorcher is and fight the monolith on the outside. Because I know there's a lot of them. And if we can get there and kill a few monolith, if, if there aren't any armors here, then we'll be able to easily find an armor between here and all the monolith there. So we can quickly, like, kill them, grab an armor, and run out. Just depends on what we find here. We'll see. Go ahead and use my meds. I, uh, I actually did forget to bring post heals. Is that a bloodsucker? That looks like a bloodsucker. Oh no, that's a Psy Sucker. Ooh, that's spooky. I haven't even seen one of those yet in this playthrough. I don't think we fought a Psy Sucker. God, this thing's so spooky looking. I don't like that at all. I don't like the fact that that's there at all. Oh yeah, here's the, okay, here's the weird quest with the SVD. The spy has an SVD. Okay, so I need to kill anybody who's not, oh shoot, they see us. I need to kill anybody who doesn't have an SVD, which is much easier to identify now that we have an L96 with a long scope on it. I hear a lot of mad military guys. I'm going to keep going backwards. I don't want to step in the water for too long. Yep, there's some radiation there. We're going to run all the way back here, though, and utilize this great, great thing called magnification. Sophomore is being a goober out there. All by his lonesome. I have no idea where we're taking fire from. No idea. That guy. That guy right there. That's who it. That's who it is. Oh, come on. Stay still. Oh, oh my gosh, the luck on that man. Why do why am I not loaded? Did I fire more than five rounds? I don't know. Oh my gosh. He's gone. He's dead. He's very dead. Guy's got an Alton helmet. Come on. There you go, he's dead too. Okay. Anybody who's firing fully auto like that, I don't even have to worry about. What the heck? Are they having a fight with it? There's mercs in there? Are mercs and military friends? Wait, what? Changing. What the heck? Changing my outfit? Huh? Oh, I sewed my patch on with a hotkey. I don't even know what I don't even know what hotkey I clicked. Um Are Mercs and military friends? Military mercenaries. They're not. Wait, no, they are. Sorry, I was one up. Okay. What are they shooting at then? Hopefully my SVD guy doesn't get shot in the scuffle. Also, I'm still scared about that Psy Sucker being over there. I don't know where he is. Whoa! That was close. I don't trust these hitboxes. Yeah, like, I don't think I hit him right then, but I should have. Maybe, no, actually, I might have sighed overboard on that bridge. If that's a thing. Ooh, that guy's closer. Just hit you in the face. There we go. I did a CSGO knife immediately afterwards on accident. How many rounds we got left? Ten? Okay, we're still putting in some work with this thing, man. We're thinning them out. I don't know how much bullet drop there is. I wonder if I can hold the left click to uh, to maintain my 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 scope on a guy without bolting. That's like, oh, there's a side sucker. It's on them. That's why they're all moving around so much. Oh my gosh. I'm a bad sniper. Okay, no, I cannot... Cannot cycle, or cannot hold the bolt cycling. Hopefully my SVD guy does not die to the Psy Sucker. That's not an SVD. Honestly, I forgot that the SVD thing was a thing. And I've just been shooting everybody. But luckily, I haven't killed SVD man yet. That's not SVD man. So, Junior Sergeant... Ignatenko. Ignatenko? Oh, my buddy got hit. Okay, 
he's full auto. I don't think they're going to push out, though. I think I'm going to have to squeeze us a little bit closer. And I also don't know if this is hit scan or not. <laughs> like, I feel like I should have hit that. 880 meters a second, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not trusting these rounds. I don't know how the ballistics are simulated. It's It feels like it's hit scan. But then there's bullet velocity. But I don't know if there's bullet drop. I don't know where my buddy just went. He ran 80 meters away from me. Their pathing is a bit weird. I don't think AI's path over that bridge. At least not human AI. These zombies see me. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, come on. Why do I... I think I'm middle clicking. So the knife goes off. Oh, okay. Taking fire from the right. Hopefully those zombies don't seem to really know what they're doing. Hit him in the chest. I think he's fighting my buddy. How are you not dead? I keep doing the knife. There we go. I keep knifing because I'm... Wait, did I just... I'm good. I killed everybody. I thought I killed him. I thought that was him. I was so scared. Is this our new buddy? Okay, this is our new buddy. We're still taking fire from somewhere. Where are we taking fire? Are you? There we go. I thought that the uh, the hitbox was eating that of the tree. Whoa. Okay, that's just the sound of my new guy's gun. Where is my other guy? I don't know where they are. <laughs> They're both just run wandering around. They'll figure it out. Let's check out these guys. Oh yeah, there's a military. Oh, it's not even. It's not even that good though. It's crazy. Like I'm trying to find a new, you know, piece of armor or something. Not even the military guys have much good stuff. Ooh, that's a lot of money right there though. Oh, it's good. Sophomore, where were you at? Where were you at this whole time? Are you just, like, taking the scenic routes around the pond every time, dude? <gasps> no, the guy just died! The guy just died! He went up fighting someone else! Are you kidding me? He just died. I'm not gonna refight that again. No way. No way am I doing that fight again, man. That took me, like, 20 minutes. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Why'd he go off and fight people, dude? The AI in this game is so dumb. Like, he had an SVD on him. He died somewhere. But your, your aim is just fantastic. Oh, he actually, okay. You were able to hit that one way over there, but you couldn't hit this one right here. Am I being overly critical of sophomore? I mean, like, when, when your buddy's bad at a game, you, you tell him he's bad. Like, it's it's out of respect for you. Like, hey, buddy, you know, your your game sucks. Your, your aim stinks. You might as well be playing on a Nintendo 64 controller right now. Okay, there's a stash up ahead right here at this truck. Um, it's not going... Ooh, I'm taking some rads. Damn. It's cooking me a little bit. Is it inside? Maybe it's on like the floorboards? No, it looks all empty. They're usually bigger than that. Or they're like not, not as hard to get to as that. It's underneath? No. It says this truck, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not saying... Okay. Sometimes they give details as to where... <gasps> no way! No way! 32! Oh my gosh. 45 BR class. That is, um, wow. That's, that's huge. I can get this to Rostock, and I'm pretty sure this is a heavy armor repair kit. So we can, we can throw this in the toolbox and get going right now. Like, we can probably make that full in just a few minutes when we go home. Holy crap. Boom. No spec. Yep. I got a slightly better duct tape. Fiber, polyethylene. Yo. 
76%. Let's go. Holy crap. That's massive. That is massive. And so I sat and I stared at this monolith suit that I finally had gathered after I don't even know how many hours I've played in this session so far. But I knew at this point we were ready. I had a good armor penetrating rifle, a good sniper rifle, a good helmet, and now finally a good armor piece. Brain Scorcher was just on the horizon and all I needed to do was make the last few buys of ammo, medications, food, and I was good to go. Sleep to survive when the law is lossless. Feeling sensations you thought was dead. No squealing and remember that it's all in your head. Feeling glad I got sunshine. In a bag I'm useless. It's coming out. There's a few monolith right there. I got ball loaded. By the way, buddy, fire at will if you see them. We're taking sniper fire. Go along this right side. There he is, right here. <laughs> I love the accidental knife I always do. Oh, he's still up. He does not care. I need AP for him. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to switch to AP for that guy. Wasn't working. don't know how many monolith are in this place right now. I still forgot to bring my PSO scope for my AK. Ah! Ow. Whoop. Okay, one more monolith way out there. I keep knifing on accident. It's because I like, I guess I'm zooming I'm zooming, my, my hand's on the middle click when I'm zooming in, and I guess it's still registering that as a, as a middle click, even though I'm not middle clicking anymore. I don't know. It's not what I think about it, I'm not clicking the middle click button to do the quick knife, I don't, so I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better about this, about this attempt. Uh, I'm gonna take this so I can post to my legs. Especially with a sophomore here with us to help us out. Feeling a lot more confident right now. Also, I need to take a uh, morphine. That is important. All right, let's go in. Let's do this thing. The beginning of this is the hardest part. Yep, they're out in front of us. Oh, okay. It's really nice to have a buddy that can uh, distract them like that. Seems like he's not. Whoa! Okay, cool. That's fine. Get him, bud. Get him, sophomore. Get him. Oh, shoot. It's a few. It's really hard to understand what's going on when my flashlight's bugging like crazy. I thought my light was off! Um... Interesting gameplay. Whoa, that's a frag! Get back, sophomore. Oh, jeez! Okay. Holy crap, sophomore, watch out. Buddy, 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 buddy. Don't run that far. Don't run that far. 
Oh, that was a lot of ammo. Shit, why'd you push like that? Oh, it's because there's like 18 of you. I see. Ooh. One down. Two down. Ouch. That hurt. Bandage up a little bit. Could I have... Okay, I still have... Good bit of AP ammo remaining. Sophomore's going insane. Oh, that's why. Oh, gosh, I can barely walk. Sophomore, keep him occupied, please. We got seven minutes. <laughs> Sophomore got him. Oh my gosh, thanks, bud. I hear movement. Oh my gosh, I got him. <laughs> I feel so... That was sick. Rock Manolita. Ooh, FMJ still slapping if I hit heads. Whoa, hello. No, we're all good, all good. All good, I thought I just saw something. I can't even see down that hall. It's so bright. I hear an exosuit. I think that might have just been the exosuit what I just killed. Whew. Four and a half minutes. I can barely even see you. Are you dead? Nope. Oh. I took a hit, but I think I, my armor absorbed it. Also, like, which which dot do I follow when I've got, like, two different dots? One's the laser, one's the red dot. Oh, gosh. Okay. Three minutes. They just path around you like crazy. At least, you know, we're getting, like, a stun lock on them with the FMJ ammo, which is surprisingly effective. Where do I go? From? Oh, I, 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 need, I know where I need to go. I need to go up here. Through this tunnel. I don't know if there's any guys in this room. We got two. Oh, I think we're good. I think we did it. Holy man. I don't remember that being that hard at all. Done.